Hey my friend, it's Doug. In this video, let's talk about Array in Squiff. Have you ever wanted to build an app like a to-do list? Or maybe a social media app that has a news feed of posts? Or maybe you want to have a shopping cart for your e-commerce app? Now what are those apps have in common? Those to-do list, shopping cart, or a news feed of posts? They all have in common because they are storing data in a linear format. They are storing a list of things. That is what an array for. So in this video, I will have four ideas I want to share with you about array in Swift. Let's go into the demo, bust out your Xcode, and let's get started. Okay, my friend, let's bust out your Xcode, create a new playground called array. All right, now this playground right here, after we done this, you can click the link right down below this video to download the complete project. And, one way, uh, and also you can sign up for my new online workshop. It's totally free for you, in which I will teach you how to build an iPhone app and learn how to build a program in Swift, all of these things. You will love it, an online workshop for you. Now, I have four things about Array. Today I want to share with you about Array in Swift. Number one is how to create an array. I just tell you that array is a list of elements, right? So let's say we want to have a list of the favorite apps that we want to use, right? So I have reminders, I have mail, let's say, and of course we are Swift developers, so we use Xcode. Let's say I want to use this array. I want to create a list of these apps. How are we going to do this? We will use a variable var apps. And the type of this thing is a square bracket. In a square bracket. Inside this is the type of the element. It is a string, right? And then I will initialize this or I give it an initial value of these variable of these elements first one is reminders because it is a string so i put it in a quotation mark next i separate it i separate it with a comma and after that is another mail and then xcode and close the bracket remember that you need these quotation mark because it denotes that this is a string and you will need a comma so that it separates between two elements and a bracket so that Swift knows that this is an array. Now let's talk a little bit about this syntax. Some of the terminologies that you will need to memorize, get used to, and master because you use this a lot and you also talk to your fellow developers about these things. So the first thing is each of these things inside an array now, this is called an array, a list, a linear list of elements. Inside this is, each of that is an element, okay? And then, each of these elements will be indexed, we call it indexed, from zero to the number, the number of elements minus one. From zero to the number of element minus one. So normally in our list, we have our index is one, two, three, four, five, right? But in an array in programming, I, um, I think that in every programming language, as I know of, we use the index from zero to the number of elements minus one. Here's what I mean by that. The reminders here will be index zero, Mail is index one, and then two, and then three, and then four after that. But this array has only three elements. So the last index, the last index is two, okay? So again, let me remind you, each of these is an element. The first index, the first index is always zero. And the last index is the number of elements minus one. Okay, these are the rules that you must remember. All right, so now we have an array of apps, an array of apps that we want to use. Let's say we want to, because the reason why we want to store these elements, store these data inside an array, because we want to access the element. How we can access the element? We will use the index. We will use the index. So let's say I want to access the first app. I will do first app equals apps sub zero 
this thing you call it a subscript syntax subscript like this okay app subscript zero usually we just say it app sub zero so it will return for us reminders because reminders is the first element index at zero of the apps array and in fact if you click into the i button here it will show you a list of things and the first index is zero and the last index is two okay now let's try another one let's say an app equals apps up one which is mail right now here's the thing if we try to access let the third app or xcode is apps up two right it works what happened what could happen if i have another app is apps of three let's see ha huh. it says we have an error right we have an error this red thing is called an error it says execution was interrupted if you look at the thing below here is the console it says fatal error index out of range what does it mean by that well what it means is this array with this array that we just created it has only three elements and the first element is zero the last element is two it is indexed at z uh, two right and now on this line number 35 over here we're trying to access the element at index three of the arrays app and then there's no element at index three because the last element is index two so where is that three over here right it will crash our app this thing is called crash our app just crashed and these just remember that whenever you have fatal error index out of range very much likely that your index you access an element from your array out of range out of the last element inside the array. so i will comment this out holding the um, comment and then backslash key okay very very important and you will i just guarantee you that you have this a lot okay just guarantee you now on to number three because we want to know what is the last element of an array right and a lot of time we want to know how many elements inside the array now how can we access the last element of the array the last element of the array must be accessed through the last index of the array and the last index of the array is the number of elements minus one okay how can we know the number of elements that's what we want to do so the number of elements is we can access that using a property of the array using count so let's say we want to do let number of apps equals apps apps over here dot count right and then we do la let's last index and then you will see that this is three because we have three elements so let's last indexed equals to number of apps minus one and from this last index we can do let last element equals to apps up last index like this and then we'll return for us in this case is x code but look what happened if i append i add another element inside the array something like spotify okay and then it automatically updated into four and the last index is three and spotify is the last element cool right so now you don't have to worry about crashing it again but still you have to be careful about that okay all right the last thing i want to show you in I want to share with you in this video um actually not the last but the fourth thing about array is how you can append new element into an array that means that our array here stores four apps so far but most of the time inside your app most of the time inside your app as we move along in as we move along in coding out i'll show you some of the apps you want to build that will use array things like a to-do list right a to-do list you want to add more elements into the array add more elements add more to do's into your to-do list or your shopping cart you want to add more items into the shopping cart or your wish list on the app store you want to add more item into the wish list 
right? So how we can do that? Well, array has a method or a function called append. You can append new element into the end of the array. So let's say over here, I would typing in apps. So we see what is the element inside this app. It is reminders, mail, Xcode, and Spotify, right? Now, if we do apps dot append, and then we do maybe in, hey, okay, I, I know that I, if I do this, you'll get mad at me or Pokemon Go. I hope that's spelled right, Pokemon Go. Okay, so I want to append the last element of the array into this Pokemon Go into the array. And look what happened. If I click into this, and Pokemon Go will be the last element, it is index at four, right? So if I do apps.append um, flappy bird, if that's still anyone using it, then it is now flappy bird. Okay. So I hope that I mentioned these two games and you enjoy it more. That is how you create an array and four ideas I share with you about array. These ideas are very, very important and I can guarantee you that you are going to use these techniques a lot. I can guarantee you that you cannot find any app out there that will not use an array. So, can you do me two favors? I hope that you enjoy this episode. So do me two favors. Number one is subscribe to this channel if you love this video. And also you want free training, free iOS development training every single week. Number two, what I want to do for you is, I want to give you access to my new iOS online workshop in which I will teach you how to build an iPhone app, teach you everything about how to build uh, iPhone apps and how to program in Swift, get you up and running to be an iOS developer. So click the link on this video, sign up for the free online workshop, click the link in the description below, sign up for the online workshop and I will see you there. Until then, go out there every single day of your life, learn new things, craft your ideas and contribute to the world. i see you in the workshop.